Hey y'all, Blake here from the Southern Cowboy. And today I'll be reviewing my Levi's 517. Let's get straight into it. Now, the history of these jeans, right? In 1969, Levi's introduced the 517 because everyone was wearing cowboy boots and all, right? And this was specifically made for the working cowboy. Right? Um, and then everyone started wearing these a lot. Now, these are made in Mexico, just a heads up. And this is 100% cotton. Um, this is like 12 ounce denim. So it's like kind of a bit light. So yeah, 12 ounce denim. So it's really light. Um, now, obviously, this is a zipper fly and all that. Now, I should just warn you guys about this. When I first got these, um, I noticed that these have seven taps, right? Like, two belt loops here in the, in the front. Two belt loops. Then we have two here. We have three. One, two, three. Yeah, seven belt loops. Now these, now, I should definitely warn you about this. Do not do what I did, all right? I had a few experiences with this. If you, um, the only way I got this to happen is because, and no, I did not cut it. So here's what actually happened. I put these in the washer, right? And I put it on extra rinse. So, normally I put it on cold wash, um, and all that, right? But, by an accident, I put on extra rinse. Now, what that does, it will rinse it a bit more than it should. And, when I brought them out the machine, these were off. So, I thought, uh -huh, I'm like, oh, shoot. And so if you have any jeans from Levi's, do not put in for an extra rinse, okay? Don't. But, yeah. Now I am a size 34 in the waist and a 34 in length. Alright. The leg opening is 18. So it's perfect for a cowboy boot and all. And, uh, yeah. So, obviously we have the back pockets here. These are a bit smaller um, than, I think in my opinion, the 501s, but it's a tiny bit larger than the 527s. And these back pockets, now, I would put my wallet here and all, you know. Now, I did notice that, um, I think you could if you want to. Yeah, so you can fit your phone in, right? But it will take a long time to break in that cut. Oh. There. So look, you could fit your phone in. However, the pocket watch pocket is a bit smaller. So look. Right? So that is smaller than the uh, 527th in the Western Pit. It's a zipper fly. Um, so this is smaller. Then these are like... They go down here. Now, this, okay, so let's see. 
Um, I've been getting this one question a lot, and then people ask me, is this natural indigo or synthetic? Um, so, I think you guys should know about this one as well. This is not natural indigo, not anymore. So, back in um, the 2000 Levi's, uh, obviously they slowed down on natural indigo. And I believe 2015-ish or something, like the middle of 2010-ish, they started using synthetic indigo. Now, I'm not going to do a try-on with these pairs of jeans, alright? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll show a photo on how they look, okay? So, let me just show you a photo on how they fit. And, uh, you'll see how they'll fit, right? So, I'll show a photo. Because, the reason why I'm not going to try these on is now they're a bit small. They're too tight. So, I'm going to show a photo to you guys. So you guys get an idea and not get mistaken and all. And, uh, yeah, so, but, hey, but yeah, um, so here's a little, and do not laugh at the photo, okay, do not, okay, I kind of had to cut the photo down a bit, um, but, yeah, so, here's a quick photo, I'm sorry if I'm not, like, showing you how they actually do, or, I'm sorry I'm not showing a try in this video, but, when you have pants like these that are too tight, it's, it's embarrassing, if you ever experience that, so, here's a quick photo. So, yeah. That's how they fit. Now, there is something that kind of bothers me with Levi's now. Alright? I don't know if it's just me or you guys have experienced the same thing. But Levi's quality has been going down a bit. Now, you're probably saying, what do you mean, Blake? Right? So, recently... And I think you guys heard me say this in one or two of my videos. Right? And you heard me say it in the live stream on my Instagram. Um, right? Now, Levi's, uh, and I think you guys should know about this when you order a pair of jeans from Abercrombie Lee or Levi's or American Eagle, right? But those companies that I just said have now started getting their jeans made in Bangladesh, China, Vietnam, India. It's like, now nah, you're probably wondering, like, every pair of jeans made in this country, right? Yeah, but there's an issue now. Levi's have been getting, um, lawsuits lately. Um, and that's because where their jeans are made, right? They're made in, well, most of their jeans are made in Bangladesh or Vietnam, right? Well, the premium line is made in Vietnam. You get my point. Um, but Origin leaked a video, right? Origin USA made a video on what the dark truth of the denim industry um and it showed photos of literal people making these right and they said that the your u.s dollars do not stay here now does that not say something right that means all our money, right, is basically getting offshore to these countries by further costs. Now, 
the denim industry is extremely, extremely, like, a dark industry. It could be a dark industry. Um, uh, so, the denim industry is, it's hard to explain, but, Basically, the denim industry, they use like, well now, most jeans are being made with synthetic, synthetic indigo, right? Because what they're trying to do is, uh, so here's what they're trying to do. They're trying to replace natural indigo, which is amazing, an amazing color, right? And, uh... All that type of stuff, right? And because of that, synthetic indigo is extremely, extremely harmful. Not towards us consumers, but when you make the synthetic indigo. When you make it, it is extremely harmful. Not just that, but there is a, um, a lake that is indigo blue from synthetic indigo. And all the fish in that lake died and all that. And it's where? In one of those countries where your average blue jeans are made. Now, I do know Levi's, most of their jeans are made in Bangladesh and all. However, I notice anytime I order off their website, mine are made in Mexico. But I did just get word that they're gonna stop making these in Mexico they're gonna stop making the 527s in Mexico and all that type of stuff and they're gonna start making a few more in Bangladesh and all so you rarely have a pair of jeans made in Mexico now to me that's kind of an issue because here's the thing Mexico uh, is amazing at making uh, leather products right and they're also really good at making blue jeans without like being harmful. However, when you see these big, big brands, uh, like these big corporations like Levi's and all, they don't care. They don't care. So, yeah, so from now on, I'm kind of gonna stop buying Levi's because of that. I mean, I'm not gonna support something which is made in a, a place where they don't take care of anything and all. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. I only wore these because Wranglers couldn't fit me, right? Now Wranglers are made in Nicaragua, which is a Mexican country, okay? I believe it's like outside of Mexico or it's its own country. Um, they're good, right? But Wranglers, for me, they rip within three months. So, what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be replacing my Levi's with cinch jeans. And there's a good reason why. Because this is synthetic indigo... Um... Obviously... Is it harmful to me? No. But this stuff can wear out. Sometimes it's easy to wear out, depending on how you use them. For these, I have a pair that wore out pretty fast, and they stained my shirt one time. It is hard to get that off. I'm not gonna have this stain my stuff. And it stained one of my... It stained my L.L. Bean boots one time. It took me, like, three months to get all that stuff off. Well, not really three months. That was just exaggerating, but almost like half a month that's what it is but it's annoying i am done uh wearing levi's so from now on i'll be buying brave star origin and cinch now basically i heard cinch and i heard you guys um say that cinch is a good uh denim brand right 
for the working cowboy. Um, so here, let me just pull it up, right? Just to give y'all a good idea on what the heck cinch is. Um, so you guys been asking for it. You buy it. Uh, you guys said, do a review on cinch jeans, do a review on the silver label, do a review on the white label, do a review on the black label. Well, guess what? I got myself a pair of cinch silver and white label. Not the black ones yet, but I got myself the silver and white label. Alright. Uh, I did have a white label one. I think that's... Yeah, I still do have a white label jean from cinch. I decided to get a darker denim white label. Um, and yeah. So for now on, I'm going to be wearing cinch jeans instead of Levi's. Because the one thing I do not like supporting is industries that get uh, the products made in a third world country. Now. Another thing is that these are losing quality, meaning that they started to lose uh, everything, right? They don't last long anymore. Like these? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I, I still wear Filson, Filson. I still wear Filson, right? Because this stuff is made in the US. I mean, yeah, they have some things made in Bangladesh and all. However, as long as it works, I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. So, their, their products are good. Um, here we go. Let me, I don't know if you guys are still there, but here. So, I got the silver label, white label. I don't have the black label yet, but I've bought these two pairs, right? I got the white label and the dark stone wash, and the silver label and the dark uh, wash, right? The dark stone wash, because the reason why I always wear a dark color jean is because I don't want dirt to show and all that. And I just find it to look nice with anything. Black label, I'll probably do a view on that also. I think I'll do that in like the fall but yeah um and uh you guys been saying do a review on cinch I'm gonna be doing it alright so that will be coming in the mail I think either next week or in two weeks because of ground shipping uh but uh yeah so my thoughts on this, if you have a pair of Levi's made in Mexico, you're okay, but if you get them now, and you find a pair that are made in Bangladesh, or any of those other countries I said, do not wear them, because that means their quality has been lost, because um, when it comes to jeans made in those countries, their quality is like getting low. They don't last a long time anymore, and they're just not worth it. They're not even worth a dime or a dust, okay? But, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Keep it Southern.